Welcome to part two. We're here, we're at a lake. We brought the board. What did we learn in driving the board, Mark? The foil works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the board was just in the back of the pickup and started lifting up out of the pickup. Yeah. Um, so the board is so light without the battery that it just catches there. So be careful. What we did is took off the mast and drove with it out without the mast. We need a paddle board so we can get some cool shots out there. So that'll be a little fun. So we have a no battery in range. I think once we plug it in, we'll see it. Still says no battery. Let's see. What did they say? Not a lot said they'll pass it on to the engineer but they want us to have the charger I didn't think to bring the charger up here with me which was I guess a failure on my part we'll shoot it I gotta be with the charger for the battery to see if we can get it reconnected and they said if it's this they'll send me a new one of these you know but um, that doesn't do us any good here. we got back to the house we put it on the charger and it worked immediately so yeah well it seems like the battery controller just needed its little reset of that because it even has charge. Because now it's saying 36%. It's around 2B. We're, we've got the, we brought the thing back out, hooked it up, no go, battery not in range, but I brought the charger, it's plugged into the Jeep connected it, it refound it, so hell we're gonna throw it in the water and see what we can do. Like the tone, the battery lock is on. Safety lock off. We got, we got tone. has an idea where I'm at. I'm on a paddleboard. That's like full speed. And I had my foot like all the way up here. Yeah. And it felt pretty good. Yeah. And I'm just trying to get used to doing that before I try and go up. Oh, okay. Um, but then weird times like that last time, I couldn't get it above five miles an hour. Oh, weird. So I, I don't know what that is, but just. It did it once before and then it stopped doing it. When you got up, Mark got up for a little bit. Yeah. On the foil, what did it feel like? It, it's like a totally different feeling. Like you're not, you know, you're, you're above the water and there's no, you know, I've wakeboarded, I've wake skated, I've wake surfed, I've skied, I've, you know, and those things just like, you're all touching the water, this goes up. You know, I did that chair once and it, but I, I failed miserably, so I, I don't know, that maybe feels like that, but this is uh, I think that, you, I think you put it best, it's like 18 inches of powder. 18 is, yeah, it, it feels like just, you know, 
just pure bliss, but now I gotta learn how to stay up there because I can only achieve pure bliss for about 30 seconds. <laughs> down you weren't close to shore no i never hit anything it just that guard's gone i think it started going faster at that point honestly i don't know but it was a hell of a lot of fun i'm excited to learn this part of it i can cruise like like on wakeboarding or something but like or surfing but as soon as it starts to engage the foil man i'm a i'm a novice so i'm so excited it, to learn that part what does it feel like when you're up on the foil chaos no it's it, a, it feels like serene like just floating and then i just get like but, but, it starts going fast enough and you get a little weight on that back foot and it starts to rise and all of a sudden you feel like you're and you are right because you get up four feet your head's another six feet you're 10 feet off the top of the water and then it'll just go whoosh and fly off and all of a sudden my pants are around my ankles. I don't know what's going on, but it was, <laughs> it's a hoot, man. So I started off just on my belly, trying to go real slow. You know, this is your trigger. And there's a lot of difference between that, 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 you know? And so getting, you gotta get enough started, but then it's pretty stable. So to get standing up is not that bad. Like it's just, you, you gotta get used to like, okay, but you're not gonna tip it sideways very easily. And as long as you have enough speed going forward, you're okay. And then you gotta be really far forward. To get it up to speed, I've almost gotta be standing on the front of the board. And then you gotta quickly get back to where you, you need to be to engage the foil so it doesn't just do this, you know, big wah -boop motion. But I don't know, man, first time, pretty successful I'm excited to it's gonna take practice which is fun and I'm excited to try it again <laughs> let's see this card the lack of guard yeah I could have used that last 23% I was <laughs> pretty far out there first successful day on the water I would call it right <laughs> you did pretty good I tried it. I, I was able to get sort of standing on the surf mode for like a little bit. I wish there was a handle up front or something you could grab onto. Uh, but Mark, Mark, you got it right away surfing. So now your next step is just landing the foil, right? Living the first, foil. First, I got learned how to carry it. You can see it breathing <laughs> like a fool over here. <laughs> but then, yeah, it's just, again, that foil is a whole different game than when it's engaged with the water. You know, as soon as that board comes out of the water, it's like a, it's a whole new sport, which is like super exciting to learn. Well, join us next time to see if we can actually get foiling successfully for, you know, more than 10 seconds. <laughs> next time.